to Create Your Holiday Youth Edition. I'm Sandy and today we're going to create a button tree. This is an art project that you could keep at home for yourself or give to someone as a gift for the holidays. You should have already picked up your take and make bag and inside that take and make bag will be all the things that we need to create this beautiful piece of art. Inside your take and make bag should be a canvas, a bottle of glue, some brown paint, a paintbrush, and an assortment of buttons. And you may need a pencil if you don't want to freehand your tree, and that will just help us sketch out the tree. Let's get ready to create. The first thing we want to do for our project is to take the film off the canvas. I don't know if you can see how shiny it is. There's a plastic covering on the canvas. So just pull that off and then wrap around both sides of your canvas. But you want to make sure you get that off so you can start your project. And make sure that you take that and throw it away. Don't just leave it for somebody else to pick up. And then you're going to either freehand your tree or you're going to take a pencil and roughly sketch out a tree. And it doesn't matter if when you sketch it out and then you get painting, if you kind of want to go off and make extra branches, um, that's the beauty of creating. It's, it's whatever feels like your project needs at that time. But I am going to sketch out a tree. So I'm just going to take my pencil and kind of roughly draw and you don't have to press real hard because you want to be able to cover your tree up or the lines up with paint so draw your trunk however wide you think it should be and it doesn't matter if it's not the same on each side and then you're going to kind of start drawing some branches off the side and you want to try to use up as much of the white space on your board or your canvas as possible. So we start your branch like this and maybe break it off like this and kind of do this. And trees have bends and crooks in them so it's okay if they're squiggly. And then once you do that, once you've got your tree all sketched out to how you would like it or if you've got just enough to start where you're ready to break off, the next thing you want to do is get your paint. And you'll just have to pull the tape up off the top and be careful. Take your tape and open your paint. And take your paintbrush and start painting your tree. And with this smaller brush, it might seem like it's going to take a while to fill the tree trunk in but the reason that we put a smaller brush in there is so when you get to the fine ends, smaller ends of your trunks, it's going to be easier to make the branches th thinner like that. So just continue painting however it's best if you want to outline your tree and then go back and fill in. And it's also okay if your paint is lighter and darker in some spots or you have lines in your paint because that's going to make it look like there's rough bark on the tree. So just keep painting until you're comfortable with how your tree looks and then if you need to, you can go back in and put a second coat on some spots if you think that's going to make it look better. It's all about creating something that's unique to you, that you enjoy. So just keep painting, painting, painting until you get your trunk 
And if you want to start with your branches, you can start with your branches, however it works for you. So there's my trunk. And now I'm going to kind of follow my little line and start creating branches. And I'll follow my outline a little bit. And then I might even make some other branches come up like this. Break them off. Just whatever looks good to you. And then once you get your branches how you like them, you want to let your paint dry and then you can start gluing your buttons on. So there we've got a couple branches. They're all kind of swirly and looking like a tree. And then you're going to want to let that dry. Otherwise, if you don't let it dry, you might end up with paint on your hands. But it's washable paint, so if you do get it on your hands or your, clo or your clothes, that's okay. The next step is to take your glue, open the top, and then just start gluing buttons. So um, you should have all sorts of sizes and colors in your packet. And so just pick out a button. You can do it one of two ways. You can either put the glue on the button and put it by a tree branch, or if it works better for you, you can put the glue on your canvas and then put the button down. And you wanna just keep doing that until you have as many buttons on your tree as looks good to you. And then I would let it dry overnight once you're done to make sure your buttons stay in place where you put them. And then once it's done, you'll have a beautiful piece of artwork to either put up in your room or to share with someone else for the holidays. All right, once your glue has dried, you will end up with a really cute canvas with buttons and a tree that you can keep for yourself or give away to someone if you'd love to share it for the holidays. And um, if you have some extra fun buttons at home that aren't being used on a coat or a shirt or something and you wanted to uh, add them to your creation, you're certainly welcome to do that. You don't have to use just the buttons we provide. Um, if you wanted to write a cute little note to somebody if you're giving it away, there is a spot to write things on the back of your canvas. You're certainly welcome to do that and I'm sure you're gift recipient would love to have a little note from you. I hope you enjoyed this project. It was a lot of fun for me. And if you have any pictures of you doing the process or of your completed canvas, I'd love to see them. And you can share them at the email address that's included on the information sheet in your bag. And if you have any concerns or questions, let us know. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you again soon.